Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, the IYT, the USO, and the UUP. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly time frames. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So uh, another uh, Fed kind of a moment today, and we did not get a rally. That That's very, very, very surprising. But again, look with the consolidation, consolidation comes down, more consolidation, complacent market, trying to make a top here. This is a rolling top, people, rolling top. Head and shoulder, nah. Came down here, cannot pass the neckline. That is not a head and shoulder to me. Some people say it is. I don't think it is. It might play out still. I still think we have a possibility going to here. Gap fill and 199.200 area if this bearish inside bar pattern plays out. We're going to see if we consolidate sideways, retrace up, and I believe it will be the next leg down. We are 44 cents down after hours. Not a big thing, but uh, got to keep an eye on that. Tomorrow morning will be a different story. So the daily inside bar, we did crack below the uh, the trend line there. Let's see what's going to happen tomorrow. The, you know, you know, unlike volume, we still had 73 million on the day. So the volume completely sucked again, even on a Fed moment day. You can see that 10 minute chart. You can see the volume. Came in at 2 o'clock, disappeared, they just kind of held it up. They tried pushing it here, came down, pushing it up there. At the end, it came back in a little bit, and that was it. But check this out. No, I mean, if it wasn't for the volume in these couple candles at the end of the day, we would have been in another, you know, 60 million share day, 55 million, which is just pathetic. Let's get into the weekly. Weekly, same thing. Inside bar, it's starting to break down. I'd still like to see some more consolidation, but now we're below the 20 MA on the close of today. This is the weekly, so we're going to see where we're at Friday. I wouldn't doubt if they push it up again and keep it going sideways. So uh, that's their goal. But if it keeps consolidating like this, we're setting up for lower prices, prices in my opinion. IWM. IWM, same thing. We were down a little bit today. You know, 10 cents, nothing big. Let's go to the 10 minute chart or 10 minute chart. Let's go to the daily chart. Uh, same thing. We had a bearish consolidation. Now we're starting to break below the 50 and the 20. We still are holding this inside bar pattern. I would expect probably a retrace possibly back into this area. Then the fall, if it keeps going, we got the trend line here, a couple of areas of support. You know, we have a lot of those lines for intraday too. You have the gap fills, gap window, gap fill. You had a lot of that stuff, gap fill. Yeah, gap fill, gap fill down there. You have a couple windows, so and you have this trend line connecting those. So you're going to have some support coming up in this area, the 120. So we'll see if it consolidates and goes down. But this consolidation here above the moving averages, this tells me it could possibly go through here. Maybe the double bottom, the uh, window here, and then gap fill down in here in this area. So so we'll see what the next couple of days brings us on the daily. Weekly chart, we're going to have to wait for Friday. Uh, we went up, retraced up, never closed above the high. We still, you know, we can still fill this gap up here at 127.65. This is slightly bullish. You're still above the MAs, but this is telling me that we're starting to set up. We couldn't crack out. We came above or we came below. We'll see where the close is. We filled the gap today too. Let's see if we can stay above here. If we close down down on the trend line or maybe even below the uh, 20 MA on Friday. So, you know, it's almost feeling like a Friday sell-off to me. But, you know, the patterns really aren't telling me that, but... Lately, we've been getting that, you know, other than that one Friday, I think they rallied it, but they had no choice. So they rallied it on that one. Let's see who's calling me here. Sorry about that, guys. And let's see, IWM, let's go to, oh, and the other thing, the IWM is lagging. Lagging indicator. We've been talking about that for weeks. Got to keep that in mind, guys. So let's look at the uh, the Qs. The Qs were down oh, 10 cents, too. Bum, bum. <laughs> so, but now we're starting to consolidate in a bearish manner inside bar above the 50 MA. Let's see if we can go sideways a little bit more on the daily, or do we crack down, come down in this area and fill this gap? There's a gap filled down in here, guys. And then ultimately you got this uh, low pivot here too as well. I'm wondering, let's see if we have any other stuff. Uh, I mean, you could draw maybe a trend line up there. That's a little bit, uh, let's just put that in there. Oops, that's a li little bit steep for me, but we'll, we'll put it in there anyways. A little bit of support there. I, I'd read that's a little steep, but uh, we'll see. But you do have one down here as well. 
that's a little bit better. So you're going to have some support. See if we crack through there. We got to put it in there. It's, it, it is a trend line connecting the pivots, the pivot, the pivot. So this is consolidating sideways above the 50 MA, possibly setting up down. If it gets above the 20 and retraces back up, if you're not short, short it up here. If it gets above the all-time high, just stop out. Simple trade. Weekly, same thing. There's that trend line. So we're almost into it on the weekly, but we have some support down, you know, down in here with all the highs. Comes right back in, sitting there. Let's see if we could close below this or see if we can uh, stay here and consolidate. But this is a bullish consolidation. But if we close below this little pivot here on a weekly close, then it's still a little bullish because we're above the MAs. But we'll see if it can stay up there or start to slide. Again, a lot of these bullish patterns at highs will fail. And when they do, the downside's a little more steep. Let's go to the DIA. DIA, same thing. Let's go to the daily. This one was actually up 17 cents, but we're below the trend line. We're starting to set up on an inside bar bearish pattern. Let's see if we consolidate sideways and maybe we go back up and retrace a little bit and then the next leg down. This is great bullish or bearish uh, consolidation here, guys, inside this bar. So I'm expecting lower prices. If we do start to sell off, there are some gaps down in here. You got the gap down in here, the gap fill here. You know, ultimately, I think we get to the 170 or so, but let's see how this pattern plays out again. No head and shoulder. Head and shoulder's got to go up like this. I mean, you can maybe count that as a little one, but uh, I, I'm not playing it. Let's put it that way. But I did look at this trend line. We did pop up and right back below. They tried breaking it out. We filled the gap and boom, right back in their face, right back down. On light volume too, so that's kind of suspect as well. This one inside bar, bearish pattern. We're starting to break down. We did close below the 20 MA, but this is the weekly, so we'll see on Friday if it closes below. But I'll be watching for a man. If we can close below these trend lines, I think we're going right down to here. Boom, down there. And then the red uh, 200 MA gap fill, and then so on and so forth. But you know, one step at a time, guys. I don't want to get ahead of myself here. Uh, IYT, IYT down 54 cents. Let's see on the daily. <clears throat> so on the daily again, chopping around up and down above the trend line here. The 145.63 gets above. It gets below. It gets below. Gets above it, almost makes a run, and boom, comes right back in. Now we had some follow-through on the daily. We did close below this little pivot, so I'm expecting lower prices on this. If we still get light volume, though, it's everything's a market trade. If the SPY and everything start to dump, this one will go lower. So just keep an eye on that. Weekly chart, weekly had a great bearish or bullish pattern. Inside bar, above the MAs, tried to take off, came right in, caused a little tail. Now we're getting a second tail on here. You got to wait for Friday to see the close. I'd love to see a little bit more selling get below that pivot. I'd love to see it get down in here, but you know, around the 142 area. But uh, we'll see what happens. Again, we have light volume. I mean, look at the volume in this market so far. Actually, actually, no, I think the volume was pretty good on this one. No, look at the volume disappearing again. Goes up and then just slows down. They just keep a complacent market, and uh, market makers keep it going. So two little tails here. We'll keep an eye on that on a weekly. We still have two more days to close. But again, the IYT, another lagging indicator. This should be a leader. Look, it's not even close to the, here's the all-time high. Not even close. Still has a good bull, uh, bullish pattern above the MAs. But if this fails, boom, we're going into 200. Boom, this trend line, this gap, or that pivot, this pivot. I think we'll be down at 115 if the market starts to dump. If it goes up, it still needs to get above this trend line, needs to get above the 151 area. Until then, I'm going to talk more downside, guys. I'm a bear in these markets right now. Everything's extended. Everything's at the highs. It's time for a pullback, guys. USO. The USO. So it went right up into our area that we talked about right here, this big uh, 1166 line. It got rejected, came right down, has some nice follow-through. Let's see if we can fill this gap and possibly go back to the 382 retrace. We do have a gap down here, and let's see how this thing reacts in the next couple of days. After hours, it's down six cents. So, so far, so good. Our last position that we added was 1166. We did add more on the SCO. The SCO is making a charge at 73.42, and we're still we're still about six bucks upside down, five bucks upside down on that one. But hey, we get two big down days in oil. We'll be up ten bucks, and I'll be shaving that thing off for for a couple grand, guys, couple grand. So again, into resistance, this resistance here becomes support. We bounce off the uh, 1138 area. It's holding. I'm expecting some consolidation or maybe a possible gap down. 
we start getting down this way. Look at this, same thing, straight up, straight up, look what happened. Boom, straight up, boom, straight up. So, but you know what, technically, you know, we are making lower highs or higher lows. So let's see if we come down, if we crack through this level, and we're going to be in trouble, guys. Uh, weekly, weekly, same thing. We're going to know more on the weekly close. We talked about this thing. Let's see if it confirms. And so far, looks like it's not going to confirm over the MAs. We still have two days, so we'll have to keep track of this. When it closes, we'll let you know on what, uh, what we think this thing's going to do. Let's go to the UUP. And this is the problem. The dollar keeps moving up and oil keeps moving up with it. Eventually, there's going to be a disconnect here. Does, do, does the dollar go down? Oil shoot up. But at this point, this thing's going straight up too. This is looking strong. We are long the dollar. We already covered half. And uh, looking to cover the rest of it if it gets to, I think it was 26 or so. I mean, 25.57. Then you have a big gap fill around 25.87. We do have a little doji on the day, but we had one down here. So we'll have to see. Let's go to the weekly getting a little bit stretched right now but we did close above this level and confirm above that pivot so I'm thinking you got a gap fill here you got a high pivot there and ultimately you got this gap window up in here and the gap fill that it can fill a gap fill that it can fill and then 2612 would be the high pivot I mean if it got there you know what let's let's try this though so if we stick a fib in here from a bigger time frame where are we yeah look at that 618 hmm so maybe 25.59, that's the area where I'll probably be taking the dollar off and maybe be uh, selling the USO and, and uh, covering the USO and selling the SCO. We'll see if this thing can start marching. If the market start moving down, I think the dollar can start ripping, maybe get to that 26 area. Weekly chart, <clears throat> same thing, 618, starting to get above the pivot. I want to see it close on the weekly above that pivot and the following week close above this high, and then I think we could possibly go up. So this is on the radar. Let's see what's happening with this. And, and also, oops, I want to draw in oops, this trend line too. This is catching my eye. That's going to be some, that's going to be some resistance too. So once we get up into that 2550, 2559 area, that's going to be some big resistance as well. So, but uh, this is getting strong here. Same thing, lower highs and it's going up. But let's let's see what uh, happens on the weekly close. All right, guys, you know what? One more. Let's go to the GLD. We did that one yesterday too. So the GLD is holding strong, 19 cents, but it is consolidating in a bearish manner below the 200. Now we talked about this thing. Let's see if we can consolidate and possibly get above. Now five days of consolidation. We're still looking at the 1571 area, and then ultimately I would love to see the 1571 area, but the big one for me would be the 1240. That would be wow. But we're looking at the $15 area in here, then the $12.40 if it really starts to come in. If not, then gold will take off without us, and that's okay. We'll, we'll look at gold for another trade down the road. You know, you also have this, you know, 50 MA at around 11 or 11, uh, 117.48. Ultimately, the pivots, and ultimately, this gap fill around 12.40. That's what we're looking at. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, send it to me at uh, stockbookie at gmail.com. I'm hoping to go live tomorrow, so uh, watch for our post on StockTwits. I'll probably post something on YouTube or I think something comes up, and then I'll come in maybe five or ten minutes later to give people time. I'd love to do some nightly stuff, but at this point, I'm just way, way too busy. And uh, <clears throat> New York time's a little bit late. I know I have some people around the world following this stuff, so we'll have to give everyone a break. But again, if you have any questions, send me an email. We'll go over some uh, charts and stuff. But, uh, but I just want to say, guys, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for liking it. Please share with your friends. Share it on StockTwits. Let's get the name out there. I'd like more people to go to the room, the live chat room. And, uh, and uh, let's look at some more trades. Uh, we got a couple good ones the other day. And uh, we're riding them, and we're selling half, and we're making money here, guys. So again, thanks everybody for watching my videos. God bless. See you on the charts.